Ketamine is a rapid antidepressant. Studies have shown that when patients with depression are treated with ketamine, they respond immediately. This is also similar to how patients with depression respond to psychedelics as well. So how do these substances, which have not been studied well and are categorized as illegal drugs, work so well for depressive disorder and anxiety and other mental health struggles? And why do they work so quickly when compared to traditional antidepressants which take weeks to show even the smallest of results in the strongest of patients? The answers to these questions are indeed quite fascinating and these are explained in a new study at a molecular level. Let's first look at how depression manifests in the brain as visible in fMRI scans. Major depressive disorder, MDD or depression, is caused by the loss of neural connections. When compared to a healthy brain, the brain scans of a depressed brain vividly shows several regions completely inactivated or dulled out with low, minimal or non-existent neural activity. The main region that gets affected is the hippocampus which processes emotions and memories and neural activity in these parts of the brain that are essential for daily functioning is reduced drastically. The way to activate regions of the brain to reverse depression at a cellular level in the brain physically is to have neural connections again in these regions. And neurons are constantly produced in our brain throughout our lives. The process of production of new neurons is called neurogenesis. Antidepressants bank on neurogenesis, they aid in the process and when new neurons are produced in these deactivated regions, over time, eventually, these parts of the brains light up in scans. However, psychedelics and ketamine work a little differently. Studies have shown that these substances do not perform neurogenesis or aid in it. Instead of creating new neurons, they simply just go and activate previously disconnected neural networks. So literally what happens is that these substances just light up existing deactivated pathways in the brain and activate them, almost immediately reversing depression, whether temporarily or permanently. With psychedelics, we've seen before how in trials patients have reported saying immediately after a trip, as a part of a session, they have had a new perspective on life and the world and their brain scans, functional scans, show reversal of depressive disorder. The same thing happens with ketamine. Patients respond within mere hours with hippocampal regions lighting up in scans at parts where they were previously deactivated. While the beneficial effects of psychedelics seem to persist for a long time, maybe even months together, ketamine's beneficial effects don't. The reversal of depression as a result of ketamine is temporary and this effect lasts up to three weeks only. Plus, ketamine is not really a psychedelic like ayahuasca or LSD or psilocybin in magic mushrooms. It is an actual drug which is used as an anesthetic and is used to induce sedation and pain relief during surgery, especially in animals, popularly in horses. And of course, ketamine in various forms is a recreational drug too. But the main difference between hallucinogens and ketamine is that the psychedelics do not cause persistent and very severe physical side effects like nausea, blurred vision or loss of vision, even addiction, sometimes insomnia also coupled with constant drowsiness throughout the day. But ketamine does induce these kinds of very severe side effects. As a result, it can be used only in a limited manner. When using ketamine as a treatment, several things become obvious. Ketamine is something known as an NMDA receptor antagonist. This NMDA receptor in our brain is responsible for controlling neural connections and is involved in learning and memory functions. Researchers have seen that other substances which are similar to ketamine and also latch on to the same receptor do not have the same antidepressant properties that ketamine does. So there was clearly something very specific in ketamine's molecular action that led to this outcome. To understand how ketamine actually triggers immediate activation of previously lost neural connections, 
Researchers modified mice genetically so that they could activate and deactivate a group of specific neurons. These neurons are called the adult born immature granule neurons or ABINs. The authors noticed that the ketamine treatment activated ABINs in both stressed and unstressed transgenic mice and this in turn resulted in alleviating symptoms of depression and increasing previously lost neural connections. And conversely, the researchers also found that blocking ABIN activity also blocked the antidepressant effects of ketamine. Thus, the researchers were able to narrow down the change in neural activity without any change in the actual number of neurons as being the responsibility of ABINs. They state that the increased activity of ABINs is sufficient for rapid antidepressant effects. While ketamine's beneficial effects do not seem to last as long as those of some psychedelics, the latest findings have still offered a deeper window into how these drugs act since the study has identified a very specific cell population that can potentially be targeted for treatment. This in turn limits the negative effects of ketamine while preserving its therapeutic and beneficial ones. This is the major takeaway from the study that scientists have identified the group of cells that is responsible for reversing depression. We live at a time where we realize that many potentially beneficial substances have been banned due to ill-informed policies and without research and data into their benefits and harm. Of late, more and more studies show that what we commonly perceive to be recreational drugs, especially hallucinogens, which are mostly called gateway drugs, are actually highly beneficial to the brain and mental health when consumed in the right quantity. Ketamine has also shown promise in treating addiction and it has been shown to be able to rewire the brains of people with addiction issues, especially alcohol addiction, and it can reverse those too. Psychedelics are beneficial to treat PTSD, depression, anxiety, and many other mental health disorders, all of which are ultimately caused by dysfunctional neural connections in the brain. These are still new studies and we do not have long-term data because they haven't been studied well. Neurons are normally constantly produced in the brain and the process of neurogenesis takes weeks to be completed. As a result, standard treatments for depression also takes weeks to see even the smallest of results and this is true for people who suffer from very severe depression where these drugs do tend to work. There haven't been many long-term studies, but enough studies have indicated that substances that have not been well studied and were categorized as gateway drugs can actually act instantly as antidepressants, often retaining the rewired neural connections for weeks or even months together.